So we're here at Qualcomm here at the Embedded World 2019, and uh, who are you? I am Susan Palazzato, um, Senior Marketing for Product uh, Marketing at uh, Qualcomm. So what are we looking at here? Well, we announced earlier on Monday, uh, this is the robotics, the Qualcomm Robotics RB3 platform. So and it is based on the uh, SDA 845. So this is a Snapdragon 845 development board system kit for the embedded world. Yes, so the 845 platform consists of the the uh, RB3 uh, development kit and uh, it consists of the Dragon Board 845C and uh, it is 96 boards compliant. Um, on top of that there is also 96 board compliant navigation uh, mezzanine as well as an optional communication uh, or cellular connectivity board as well. So what is this one here? This is actually the uh, optional communications uh, mezzanine. So this is if uh, developers want to consider cellular or CBRS band 48, uh, this would be a board that they could purchase for that development. So you do mezzanine, uh, this mezzanine for the 96 boards that connect to the main board and then everything just adds and adds on, that's why you have three layers. Exactly, so this is the 8045 dragon board, this is the navigation board, and then this is the communication board. Nice, and uh, the chip is right here? Yes, underneath here is the SDA 845. So that is the heterogeneous uh, computing solution that powers the uh, robotics RB3 platform. And this is also with memory and everything? Yes, exactly. And why do I see a, a logo of the Thundersoft right yes. here? You can actually buy the development kit from Thundercom. And if you go to Qualcomm.com and search robotics RB3, you can find uh, the link to purchase uh, the development kit for uh, this on Thundercom. Thundercom is a, is a partnership between Thundersoft and Qualcomm? Correct. And uh, it can be ordered right now? It can be ordered right now. For like uh, $99 or how much? The base uh, solution, the base kit is for $449 and then um, you can add optional time of flight camera, tracking camera, um, uh, you can also have the optional uh, communications board as well. So you said there's a tracking. So what there's yes, there's time a of flight. This is time of flight. This is well, a tracking. Who's making this? Like a. Uh, I don't know exactly yeah. who makes that. And then this one. This is a tracking camera. To track how? Uh, it has to do with robotics and and sending the information back and forth so that it knows. So as a as a robot moves around, it knows exactly where it is. And this case is included. The yes, that goes all everything around is included. Yes, this is all included in the kit. How soon can people get it? You can buy it right now. It's available. It's shipping. Uh, yes, probably in the next week or two. It will start shipping. And there's a gigabit Ethernet right there. There you go. Yes. On, so on the <clears throat> 449, you get all three. No, 449, you get the first, this bottom layer and the second layer. So you get the chipset one, and you get the one navigation. That does navigation, right? but uh -huh. that has a e gigabit Ethernet. Uh, yep. And then the third one is the one that does uh, LTE or something? Yes, this has the uh, Sierra Wireless module that has the 4G uh, LTE as well as the support for CBRS uh, Band 48. And for the third one, is there a price on that one? or? Uh, yes, I believe that one's like $249 possibly. And uh, how about, uh, are there different potential future options for that third layer, right? Well, actually there might be an option for, yes, third layer or fourth layer. Um, it, eventually we plan to support uh, uh, 5G as well. 5G? Yes. Cool. Did you announce some new modems at the show? You, uh, have, you have some, uh, what, oh, oh, over here you have all the, what do you call, LTE for IoT. Uh, do you have some new stuff going on here? Yeah, so back in December 2018, we announced the next generation LTE IoT modems. So that's the Qualcomm 9205. The first generation was the Qualcomm MDM 9206. And then with the 9205... So that was the first, this one? Oh yeah, these all these were module makers, and so they you can see the various different sizes by the different uh, module makers. And as we introduce the next version, where we have better integration... So your chip is one of those? It's inside these modules, yes. Which does puts everything in the module? Yes. And this now, the new one, is uh, this one? So the new ones are all inside these first two rows, which enable the module makers to make smaller form factors because it's a uh, tighter integration of the uh, development. And so they're even lower power, smaller size, and lower cost. So in here, 
And these uh, are, how and about performance? Is it even better also? Yes, it's, so better performance meaning that it will uh, have lower power for those IoT devices that are battery operated. And uh, there's a, even a tiny one here. This has got this done. This little one does LTE. Yes, this one does the same same thing as all the others. All right. This is and this previous one right here. So uh, it's important to connect the I, IoT to the internet, right? Yes, for especially if you want IoT devices that are connected to the internet, um, LTE IoT is one option for you yeah. to have small bandwidth. And uh, maybe we can uh, we can introduce some of the boards that are on here. Yeah. Let's go get my colleague Anna. Yeah. Hey Anna. You look very. Hi. Hello. Hello. Nice to talk Hello. to you. Hi. So who are you? I'm Anna Schaefer. I am a director of marketing with Qualcomm. And uh, right here you have a lot of uh, cool looking boards. Uh, with the, all the partners that you have making them? Absolutely. So one of the great things uh, about Embedded World is being able to show off our, our hardware ecosystem. So not only in our booth, but so many of them also exhibiting here with lots of demos. We have a variety of SOMs, SBCs, uh, development boards, all to help customers evaluating and then integrating our, our uh, uh, processor into their, their commercial solutions. So Genia Tech is uh, doing this one? Yes, Genia Tech has a couple here. Uh, we have uh, the developer board and then here you see the, the SOM that they make available. So, you know, start your evaluation with the developer board and then have these um, off the shelf or custom modules uh, that you could integrate into an end device. So there's a lot of boards on this board. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of... A uh, lot of boards on the board. <laughs> there's a lot of um, uh, things happening for, with Qualcomm in the IoT. Yes, there is, in the there is. In the in embedded world. Exactly, and, and one of the things that, that we're excited about is you know, w with these processors, the APQ 8016E and the APQ 8096SG, is uh, we we do support uh, the 96 boards specification. Like this so, one right here. Like this one right here. Um, lots of great options for um, prototyping different things. Bosch sensor. And I wanted to point out this yeah. solution in particular from Basler, which won the Embedded Vision uh, Award at the show uh, this week. What so does it do? This is a MIPI camera that is supported on top of the APQ8096 processor. So uh, customers have a, a, a great solution with all the software support that they need to be able to integrate that into a variety of use cases. Nice. And what are those reference designs over there? So these reference designs? Yeah. We just went and, and uh, talked about a lot of the SOMs and SBCs that are available for multiple use cases. We, we also have targeted very specific use cases where we see a lot of interest in our technology. So here you have a variety of reference designs that are targeting uh, smart cameras. So got support for dual ISP, um, the heterogeneous commuting to be able to do on-device AI. Uh, like this one with Thundercom, what does this one do? Oh, this is a um, the inside of their AI development kit, their Turbo X AI development kit, which is designed to help uh, engineers create uh, computer vision applications with on-device AI. Is this the one you showed before? This is the one we showed before, yes. That has a lot of uh, things happening there. Absolutely. The thing Again, going out. another uh, 96 boards compliant mezzanine there. And this and is like a Qualcomm thing. Yeah, so here you're going to some voice solutions that we have. So for smart speaker yeah. uh, that um, lets you do, uh, um, it supports Alexa as well. So a lot of voice UIs that are that are, are in the connected home and with our audio solutions. So right here, Geneatech is doing a, a hub. Yes, so this yes. is like a hub goes exactly so the idea um, you could use this uh, as a gateway media player um, and, uh, we see we see a lot of applications from from that perspective and this is with the the microphone array yeah this microphone array is for our smart speaker reference platform so that has the the uh, intelligence on on the the audio platform so you can do things without necessarily having to have that cloud connectivity and doing all that processing on device. 
So uh, Qualcomm is a um, big company with a lot of uh, uh, engineers. You're providing uh, long-term support for some of this stuff? Yes, there are a variety of products that do yeah. have extended life support. And it's a big deal to do that, right? For the embedded world. It is, it is a very big deal to do that for the embedded world. So, uh, uh, very different requirements that we have from you know what is typical in a smartphone where there's such a high replacement uh, rate. So, uh, that's why we selected very specific parts of our portfolio and also have things like the vision intelligence platform that I just showed you that was a chip d designed specifically for that that space. Has uh, Qualcomm been ramping up the involvement in the embedded world, uh, not the conference, but like the, the industry uh, in the last couple of years? I mean, just uh, having done this show a few years and, and now this year, um, I'm on the marketing side, so we have 30 different uh, hardware uh, providers that are yeah. in our booth, and I counted 101 <laughs> uh, different options that we are showing here from, from the cellular modules to Wi-Fi uh, and Bluetooth solutions to the reference design. And more around here. Yes, yes. <laughs> Intrinsic has a bunch of stuff here. Absolutely. So, um, and but it's not, it's not just showing cool stuff, it's also supporting it for, for future, for a long time. Exactly, supporting it for a long time and also making sure that we have end-to-end -end solutions for customers evaluating our products. We know that they need software solutions, we know that they'll need hardware with di to, um, for different specifications, so um, providing that variety to allow us to enable uh, end devices.